Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. This week, you're going to have a podcast-style video. We're going to sit down and chit-chat and talk about what, babe? 2022. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to talk about, reflect on the past year of our life. Yeah. Which will be fun. We're starting from January to December. And we're going to show pictures. In the process. And then we're going to talk stories about the picture. That's what we're going to do. So, are you ready to get into it? Right, without further ado, let's go. Okay, picture one. Picture one. Is this. Boom. So, this is way back. This is, this is January. This is January. 2022. January of 2022. So this picture and this picture and this picture are January. These three pictures. We're going to talk about these two pictures. All these three? Yep. Yeah, because it's the same. These are all January. So. so this is us renovating our camper in the renovating. process of moving to Florida. Yep. That was me building the mm -hmm. coffee table, coffee stand, bookshelf. Bookshelf type of thing. thing. Keep in mind that we we bought the camper and two weeks later we moved to Florida. So we had two weeks to renovate it. Two no. Yeah. No. Because we no. came back from Jesus Image. Jesus Image weekend was the last weekend of December. December 20, it was at, right after Christmas, so December 27, 28, 29, something like that, was when we were in Jesus Image. So we came back, and right that week, beginning of January, you went and bought the camper, and we were down here by the end of January. Yep. Okay, so I thought we had a little bit more time in there. No, we didn't. Okay. Because you were only with you, Lank, your well, probably, It was company. probably almost three weeks, though. Was it closer to three weeks? Probably. All right. We'll say three weeks. Probably three weeks. So we had a lot. We got it out the camper, renovated it. And uh, the swimming pool, yes. He decides he's going to put a swimming pool in the basement. Yeah. Right before we leave for Florida. So we were only in it maybe one or two times. <laughs> it was a disaster. Yeah. Do not recommend. Don't ever do Don't that. Don't ever do a swimming pool. Well, I mean... <laughs> no. Not like this. Don't. Cause this I don't recommend. This, this got moldy. It was all moldy. Yeah, and then fun. us packing up for Florida. All this was headed to my parents' place for storage. Yeah. So this is us packing. By the way, we got most of this down by now. Yeah, almost all of it. Yeah. We got almost everything down. Well, the washer and dryer is actually coming this week. Yeah. It is... Yay. All right, and this picture, we are at our location, first location, Winter Haven, which was two hours from Pinecraft, or from Sarasota, is where we plopped the camper when we first came down here for a whole month. Yeah. And I specifically know what you were doing at this time. Dude, you were. No, no. What? what was it doing? You were sitting on the phone trying to figure out... Where we can park the camper next. Next. Oh uh, no. The more story behind this is that I didn't start work till we almost had a month of vacation. Not quite. Three weeks about. No, it was two weeks. Two and a half weeks because you hauled back and forth for two hours for about two weeks with your job. Yeah. Something like that. So two hours one way, so four hours. Back and forth. Back and forth. And Lots this picture, what is this picture, babe? Uh, it's going back up to Pennsylvania. Yeah. So in February, we decided to surprise our friends because they were moving. That's right. They were moving, and we surprised them and showed up. There's a, there's a video on that, surprising our friends. Anyway, and while we were up there, our house that we, cur we had lived in was still empty. And so we went inside and looked around. And just reminisced a little bit. It was all empty. Bittersweet because we would have only been in Florida for one month. So we were a little bit homesick. And yeah. <laughs> it was a little bittersweet. Was so little, yeah. That was fun. There was that. <laughs> and then there's and this. And then there's that. 
So this picture of me, I would not have had a job yet in Florida, so I would go with Hubby to work. Hubby himself did not, still was new at it. And so... The yeah. next one is, this one here is later on though. Is it a little later? Yeah. Couldn't remember. Yeah. But, yeah, working. You got that right, that's... I would work with him at five. That's what I do. Yay! That's... If anyone that's... ever needs a pool, hit me up. <laughs> Yay! This I, picture, I this is a fun picture. Pool. Where's this picture from? Do you remember? Yes, what, I did. What was the reason we were in Pennsylvania? Um, the, the reason was it. You already had your perm, so it was after. Yeah, I had my perm. So. It was like March. It was like April. Okay. March. Oh, I know wedding. what it was. It was your brother's wedding. Yeah. We went in March. His brother's wedding got married in March. Yeah. We went up for that. That would have been a horse and buggy. Yeah. Mennonite that wedding. That was my brother's wedding. But this specific picture was one of his friends. He really wanted to talk to, was not at home, so we left a message on a paper and we didn't have any paper we wanted to just fly away, so we had a can of applesauce in the back, some canned goods, because <laughs> we were going to haul that back home to Florida, so we decided to give him a can of fresh homemade applesauce to hold the paper down, letting him know that we had been there at his house. <laughs> that was that. That's that picture. Yep. That was a fun... That was a fun day. That was a fun day. And this is me. This is me. This was our life in Florida for the first, what, half of a year of us living here. This yeah. is me in Pinecraft. I did my laundry. I would come with Hubby to work. If they did not have Airbnb cleaning, I would come with him to work, do my laundry early in the morning while he was at the office, and uh, go over there before he left to go on the job site. Um, but this particular morning, I was trying to film a video. If you recognize the, the, my outfit, you'll see the video, and I don't know what it's called. But I was trying to film a video, probably a day in the life. Anyway, there were so many people. This was in, like, end of March, early April, because there were still tourists down. And I was trying to film it, and people kept coming and kept turning off the camera, and then I'd, they'd leave. So I'd turn it back on and turn it back off, and it was just chaotic. <laughs> I remember fine. sitting there being like, people, would you leave so I can film? I think I actually, this is like the laundromat, but I think I actually eventually went to the park maybe because it was a little yeah. quieter. I don't know, but that was that. Doing laundry. Silly. This picture, pal. Oh, buddy. What were we doing there? Just being silly us. This was a Saturday or Sunday afternoon. Probably. We were at the Airbnb house that I had to clean, and it forlated us to clean it so bad. So we were just doing weird stuff. So we were just boxing around and being weird, but welcome to the life of Airbnb cleaning. Next picture. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys are enjoying this. We're just trying to speed through this a little bit. Well, we well, well. We have a lot of pictures. Yes, we do have a lot of pictures. Now we're in the month of April? May? No, it's May. I have no idea. May. It's May, June, because... It got hot and we wanted a swimming pool. And we wanted a swimming pool. <laughs> so we went and bought ourselves. This is we're in the camper still. We bought ourselves a kiddie pool because that's also yeah. where we showered. We showered out in the back there, and he's currently hanging up a shower curtain for protection. So we could shower back. So that there. we could shower back there <laughs> at night. We showered at night. No, we did not shower at daytime. We showered at night, so nobody could see us. Um, only the fishes in only, the water. Only the, only the planes overhead. The planes overhead and the fishes in the water. Um, but yeah, so we had our own little hot tub in the summertime. Because it gets hot down here, guys. It was like over 100 degrees every day. And that was, water got really warm. It got really hot, really fast. Because it's a tiny little pool with like plastic. and yeah. It got warm pretty quickly. It did. And this. This was also the summer. I cannot remember the dates. June something. Where are we at? Sean Foy. We oh, went. and Todd White. Yeah. Todd we Boyd, we so went yeah. to a Sean Foy, Todd White. Up in Orlando. Con not concert, kind of ish, kind not of. really. It was free. Um, and uh, Lawrence was so delighted to get this shirt. For you. And if you actually see in the background. You're actually waiting. You're actually waiting. I'm wearing it right now. 
um, in the background was the act was Todd White and Sean Foy, and he really wanted me to take a picture of him with them in the background. It's awesome. Because they are a big part of your life, aren't they? Yeah. So that's a pretty cool that's awesome. memory there. That was in Orlando. And this picture. The this thumbnail. is also like June, July. This June. Is, no, this is July 4th. Oh, this July 4th. This is July 4th weekend. Fun, but like. He said we figured that they had tents on site because he said it's like a campground tending. I'm like, oh, we could do that. We could sleep in a tent. That would be adventurous. You know, look at us with our fan, our backpacks, you know, our pillows. We're like, this is adventurous. And uh, what we didn't know was you actually needed a tent. So we went out and bought a tent. But what we didn't know, it was a wraparound for a canopy. So it technically wasn't even a tent. What kind of a tent? It needed to be attached to a canopy. But thankfully, he had a canopy, the sweet guy that actually lived there. And I did not realize it was in his actual backyard. Yeah. Um, there, was, there was another young couple that was there when we were there. But for the most part, we had a lot of privacy. He wasn't out much at all. We had the whole swimming pool for ourselves. Um, but yeah, it was okay. On to the next one. Enough of that weekend. You know who that one? Okay, one. <laughs> oh, VBS. We got asked if we wanted to teach the eight and nine year olds of Vacation Bible School for Palm Grove Mennonite Church. So yeah, that was exciting. That was us. That was us. I have I had taught. No, I didn't really teach a Bible school ever, but. It's and neither has he, and that was your first time. So it was quite, it was quite interesting. But it was a lot of fun. We learned a lot from it. it. Was one whole week, every single evening. We probably learned more from the children than we taught the children. Yeah, the children were so great. Um, but yeah. Uh, All right, DoorDash. Welcome back to DoorDash. <laughs> we did a lot of DoorDash, and we actually don't do DoorDash much anymore. No. When I was scrolling through pictures of what to reminisce about this past year. And realized that DoorDash was such a big part of 2022, and I was like, we don't do that much anymore. It was just for fun. But yeah, DoorDash we did quite a bit fun. of DoorDash because the camper was so small. We we had to get out. We had to be adventurous. So every evening, after we got back and showered, we would, or we shower at the gym. Um, we would go DoorDashing, make some extra money on the side, and spend quality time together as a couple. That was door dashing. Kind of fun. Yeah. And this. What is this story about? This is not in Florida. Wait, is it? No. We went with our friends to Colonial Williamsburg in Virginia. Yeah. Do we have a video of that? Yeah, there's a Colonial Williamsburg up there. Go check it out. We went. And the funny thing about that is we actually drove. We met them. Like, they came from Pennsylvania to Virginia. We came from Florida to Virginia. And we drove, and we slept in the back of our car. So we literally drove right up to the location, to Williamsburg, and quickly we got out, quickly changed around, brushed our teeth, and went and hung out with them. Keep in mind, we had just slept in the car that night. So it was yeah. very chaotic. It was exhausting. I was tired. I remember feeling a little insecure that day because I just felt like I just looked fat and blah, blah, blah. I just felt like... I felt disgusting. I really needed a good shower and a good bed to sleep in. <laughs> anyway, that was that. And then from there, from Williamsburg, Virginia, we headed up to Pennsylvania. For or what? something. What did we go to Pennsylvania for? I don't remember. Neither do I. We went so many times. We did this past year. We've been traveling a lot to Pennsylvania. Anywho, you tell me about this picture. Ooh. Oh no, that's when I... Got on age. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is the age that I was old enough to hold a drink in my hand. <laughs> oh, that's what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. This is. I was this, actually holding a drink in my hand. <laughs> this is our one year anniversary, or technically, so his birthday is August sixth. He has the same birthday as my brother that passed away, which is very sentimental. Um, and then the very next day, August 7th, is our anniversary. So we went to a little getaway, or a little campground here in Florida. And, uh, that, yeah, you hit, you were 21. Yeah. And I remember uh -huh. you for sure wanted to get a drink. And you got a little <laughs> pina colada or something, just to say you drank something on your birthday. Um, just but yeah. Because. 
Because I got 21. That's right. So that was a very fun little getaway for one year anniversary. Um, this picture. Oh, this picture. I think we got a little bit more professional there. Um, I don't think, the meaning for me is a little bit more than I think it is for you. It, to you, it's probably just a normal day out. To me, Not really. it was the, one of the first times that I left my hair, like I put it in a, like two little buns, like I did not have the head veiling on. And I remember, like, that day was so, like I felt so free that day, I felt so good that day. And then when he wanted he when he went to post it on Instagram, I kind of I started to get scared because of what people were going to think, because I had not mentioned it to anyone what had happened, and it kind of like fear struck in because of yeah everything, and uh, he had to remind myself that you know. We are in St. Armand's in Florida in a free country. <laughs> yeah. But this, that picture, when I saw it, it just brought back to the, that day. Like, I felt so free that day, but the aftermath, I'm trying to post it, I'm just like, what are people going to think? And I'm like, no, it doesn't matter what people think. So, babe, it matters the thing what God is, thinks. The thing is, they're, they're just going to see my glasses. Okay. Sounds good. Just <laughs> <laughs> okay, this. Oh, no. And this. Oh. And this. I think our video is getting long. And this. I think our video is getting long. Hold on. That's it. For now. This is moving. Moving. In end of September. Moving, moving. This is all moving. Moving. Selling the camper. This is moving into our first apartment. Stretched out. We tired. were so proud of ourselves that we got to go into an apartment because we did not realize you needed a credit card or a credit score to get apartments because we both grew up pretty innocent when it comes to credit cards. Um, yeah. Which we're still figuring we're out. We're still figuring that out. But yeah, this is when we sold our camper, which is very bittersweet that day. Not gonna lie. That's how the day it went. Yes. Yeah. And it was very bittersweet because we, we figured out that we, as a married couple, have lived in the camper longer than we have lived anywhere else. Yep. That is crazy. Yep. That is crazy. Yeah. Anyway, the very next week... We made a lot of memories in there, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, a lot of memories. The very next week, we went to Pennsylvania for a benefit. And uh, this is us driving back with... Uh, what do you see in the back? Plants. That I should have never bought. <laughs> they had an auction and stuff was going for cheap. And uh, he decides to buy plants. <laughs> He's like, oh, we'll have it for the apartment. I was all into this too. And then we realized that how in the world are we going to fit these things in the truck? The truck was meant to go to Pennsylvania to grab all the leftover storage at my parents to bring back. That truck was packed. Yeah, it was packed. And guess you what? All those plants... They're dead. Yeah. In the trash. They're gone. It was worthless. Oh well, we got some more. <laughs> I know we gotta learn how to take care of plants. And Hurricane Ian, which I'm sure you oh, guys yeah. are all familiar with, or have all heard about. Thankfully, we were pretty blessed. It was actually the week after we sold our camper, not realizing that there was a hurricane. That so that was the Lord's protecting hand on us. We didn't realize it could happen, that camera could happen like it did with this tree. Yeah. <laughs> we, like, that was the Lord's provision because there was no way that our camper would be in yeah. a safe to sail after that hurricane. Yeah, we were, was. literally had it parked by the water. We had no yeah. clue. God's that hand. Wouldn't, that wouldn't happen. That wouldn't happen good. No. Nope. Oh, uh, ice cream shop! Yes, I was gonna say, yeah. right after we moved into the apartment, I started working at the ice cream That's shop. That's right, yeah. So, yeah, and I was only there for a week and got pushed into the management position. Long story, we're not gonna get started there. Um, <laughs> yeah, anywho, that is the ice cream shop. Currently, with the ice cream shop, it's not too busy. I mean, it's kind of busy. Taurus is coming. Um, don't know if I'm going to be there next year. We will see. 
Um, anywho, this, this, this was story. fun. This, this was honestly this was fun. fun. That was fun, guys. Yeah, that was fun. We did a scavenger hunt fun with a bunch of young people. It was fun sitting on other people's laps. <laughs> we had a bunch of like things that we had to do. Like this one was to take a picture of us all sitting, sitting on, on a bench. bench. <laughs> and we had a certain amount of time that we had to see how many we can get done. And each thing that we did was a certain amount of points. It was a fun evening scavenger hunt with a bunch of yeah. young people. Um, and then this, we're getting to the end. It is our Thanksgiving um, 5K. <laughs> I look so funny there. Yeah. <laughs> you were tired. I was tired. We decided three days before Thanksgiving to run a 5K on Thanksgiving morning. You're wearing the same shirt there. Yeah, too. I am. You wear that shirt a lot. Well, it's an over, it's a very baggy shirt. I love extra, 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 extra large where it's huge so that I can curl up in it. And I like tight ones. And the very last picture to end this podcast with is this. Our December, our very first um, stay overnight. Guest yes. stay for about two weeks. We had a friend come in our little apartment. Um, and yeah, that was us setting up the uh, air mattress. That was fun. That was fun. But that's the end of December of 2022. And then there is taxes to pay it. <laughs> Anywho, we're going to wrap up this video. It is late. We're going to get to bed. That is the end of 2022. The end of 2022 is taxes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little podcast of reminiscing um, of 2022. 2022. I hope you learned something from us. If you have any questions about our life, comment it down below. Yeah. And we can maybe do a question and answer video in the near future. Maybe we can do 5K together. <laughs> You're funny. Anywho, good evening and uh, good night. Sleep good. We'll see you in the next video. May the Lord bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.